so we're back for another edition of Carton's Cubicle Concert Series. I'm thrilled to have a couple of the guys from the band The Revivalists. So Dave and Zach, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate you being there. Glad to be here. Thanks for it's having me. It's amazing that you guys started, it's almost 10 years. And I always wonder for, for groups like that that are now hitting you know, the big time and getting success, does it feel like 10 years or does it feel like yesterday when you guys allegedly bumped into each other on the streets of New Orleans? <laughs> it's a true story. It's I'm not, not buying it. It's not <laughs> but you're going to tell me, as the story yeah. goes, yeah. Um, you're Dave singing a song. Yeah. You yeah. happen to walk past them and took I'm a route you never my, take. Ride my on bike. bike. Yeah. You're on your bike, yeah, yeah. and you hear this voice come out of the of the woods. He was belting like like it was Madison Square Garden. He's sitting by himself on the front porch across from a cemetery. Right. I'm riding my bike. I'm like, this dude's great. I, so I stop. I'm, I'm like just listening, and he's like, he stops playing. I'm like, no, don't stop. Like, finish. Did you think he was stalking you or something? Like, I was just like, I was like, oh, here's a friend. All right, I don't have any friends yet. Yeah, yeah. So you hear him, you go over. Now obviously you're you're musically yeah. inclined. Yeah. Do you say, hey, let's jam together one day? Or do you like make a date to go play no, music? How's it, it work? was just like if I see something that's great, I'm gonna stop and appreciate it, and that's what I was doing. And he. David just moved uh, to town, to New Orleans, and was like, happened to be looking for people to play music with. So, is that why you went to New Orleans? Yeah. Or were you like escaping the law or something like that? No, wasn't escaping the law. Um, I was maybe running from a few demons, but. Was that the goal, by the way, that you'd bump into another musician who got what you do? You know, I definitely wanted to come down there and find, find, find the right people to play with, for sure. I didn't have a clue that that's how it was going to happen, and this is what was going to happen. But, right. So you, you went know. down there by yourself? I went down there with, uh, yeah, with my girlfriend at the you time. You did? Okay. She's no longer your girlfriend, I no. imagine? No. Boy, she's bitter now, right? Oh, no, she's that's good. She's number she's one good. adult Happily contemporary married. song in America. <laughs> There's a part of her that's probably a little bitter. Like, maybe she married a doctor or a dentist. At the same time, you're selling out arenas, and she's like, okay, the guy's a good doctor and all, but I could be with a musician. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's not saying that. I don't know. I don't even talk to her. I don't know. We we we, we parted at a time of my life when uh, I was in quite a bit of turmoil. Got it. So well, we have a big surprise for you. <laughs> Standing behind that door is Sarah, and she's here to watch you perform now. <laughs> That's my dream to do like a Springer show one day. Oh my God. So what was the song that you were belting out in the cemetery that day? Uh, it was a song called Purple Heart. A little taste of it, so I get get an understanding yeah, of what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was. On, I would stop for that. Yeah, it was like it was on the course, and honestly, it was even like more hardcore than that. Right. It was like really getting it. Wrong. Is there a, a song like in piano? I remember I played piano when I was much younger, and they teach you how to play. You know, there's chopsticks, right. and then there's a Puff the Magic Dragons, an early song. Is there an early guitar song that you master before this you can play? Yeah, uh, a bad to the bone riff, like. Um, just like that kind of thing. Yeah, Got it. Or like, smoke on, smoke the water, on the Water, Come As You Are, Nirvana. Nice. So those are my first yeah. two songs. See, that, that's when you know when you're old, when Nirvana is the song that you guys grew up learning how to play the guitar yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> I find that with musicians, more than you know, athletes, who we cover on the radio all the time, there's almost like this, it's almost like smokers have this weird camaraderie. Like if you're in a cold city and you go outside and you need a cigarette, everyone that smokes will only give you one. It's this weird connection that smokers have. Yeah, yeah. And I get the sense musicians have a similar type of thing. Yeah, you know, like like a guy reached so. out and helped you out. He didn't have to help you. He heard exactly. something. He goes, "Let me help exactly. you out," and he just exactly. helped you. Absolutely. That's especially living in New Orleans. That's for sure, that, right? That's how it is down there. We, so, what you didn't even start writing songs till later in life? Were you always like, were you a poet? Did you write stuff down? I was. I was definitely 
writing songs before. I, I've, I've, a lot when I was like 14 and 15, I was in, I was in some like hardcore punk bands. Right. So it was all just. How about you, Zach? Did you ever write? Yeah. yeah. Was it like Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue? No, it was very anti establishment <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Got it. You're against the man. My band, my band was called <laughs> Slaves of Society. Got so. it. <laughs> Which is a lot for a 12-year-old to have that viewpoint in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, one of the... <laughs> like, life must have sucked up until that point. Like, I thought I had a tough childhood, but <laughs> slaves against them, that sounds like a lot... Very heavy. That sounds like we should be talking to a doctor, maybe both of us. Yeah. So, one of the songs, obviously, that... Now that you guys have become so popular, people you know demand. And I was at your show in New York City uh, you know, on Saturday, and you played as an encore, and I love it. And it's Soul Fight. So... My wife and I are trying to figure out what soul fight means. Maybe there isn't even a meaning. I don't know. And I, I had this conclusion that it meant that at one point in your life, you were at odds with your soul, that you were fighting who you are and what you're doing. And she thought I was crazy. So am I close? No, you're real close. That's what I'm talking You're about. right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're right on it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like uh, you know this person inside of you that you can be. But all the things that you're doing in your every day to day life aren't showing that to be who you are, basically. I think we could have done better on that recording. But, yeah, <laughs> well, but, so I think I like I stayed out all night. You stayed just, out all night and got into some trouble. Just got in some yeah. right. really yeah. bad trouble. Came into the studio the next day. I don't think I'd slept. Just not not doing good. But Try to make it as visceral as possible. Exactly. Right? I was just like that was the mindset of just like this is this is rock and roll. You mind playing this it? This is me. This is how, this is how it's got to be. All right, so this yeah. is The Revivalist. It's Dave and Zach. And this is uh, Soul Fight. It's a great song, so I'm glad you guys are playing it. Go ahead. Let me tune this puppy up real quick. I usually offer to play the drums, but it seems like this is the song I should leave the drum six down on. Good call. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, you can chime in whenever no, you want. No, wait. This is on you guys. Soul fight, here we go. Listen, anybody home in here? It's getting cold and I just don't care, so I'm gonna find something else to do. Uh-huh Just take a really good look at me I'm 22 and I still don't see why All of you people can't get along anymore Cause falling down ain't so hard to do You on the crutch beat a bottle of bruises Oh, I'm gonna find something else to do Cause if I ever was to say to you Oh, the things that you wanted me to love I'd have to find something else to do uh -huh. So I'm gonna stand here by your fire Cause it's a cold one tonight Taking care of soul fight and you're the reason why I don't ask questions and I don't tell no lies. It's the reason why I'm taking care of soul fight. And you're the reason why. Oh my God, I almost died last night Wrecking my car and I told him my life So I'm gonna find something else to do Uh-huh Cause if I ever was to say to you All oh, the things that you wanted me to love I'd have to find something else to do I'm gonna stand here by your fire Cause it's a cold one tonight Taking care of soul fight And you're 
the reason why I don't ask questions and I don't tell no lies It's the reason why I'm taking care of soul fight You're the reason why You're the reason why You're the reason why You're the reason why get tired of playing it um i mean you know i try to make it like the first time every time but i'd be a liar if i said you know oh man okay sometimes it's just like all right right some actually our, our mutual friend nicole was telling me she goes tell them about your charity and we have a foundation for kids with tourette's i have two children with tourette's that you guys are all about charity and you guys are affiliated i think with a, a foundation or do some yeah, the specific music what well, yeah. tell me about that Okay, so that's a, that's an after-school uh, marching band music program in New Orleans, uh, five days a week, 150 kids. They bus them from all over the city, feed them dinner, uh, get, help them with their homework, tutor them with that, and then they teach them uh, instruments. So, like, drums, horns, like, there'll be kids that have been there for, like, two months, and they're already, like, killing it on trumpet. That's awesome. And this, like, awesome brass band, marching band thing that do the parades. It's one of the only cities in, in the country where it's, like, super cool to play a tuba. Right. You know, so it, it's cool. Like all these kids want to play marching band instruments. Where I grew up, it wasn't cool to want. To, I didn't want to do. I wish I, I did, in, man. But I was in the marching band. Yeah. It was not cool at all. It yeah. was a punishment. And I had the big <laughs> bass drum. And I remember two events. Yeah. One was, and I thought I was a good athlete growing up. And I was put into the marching band and had to play every year. New Rochelle, the high school I went to, and Mount oh, Vernon I had their. Puzzle. All right, so we had the yeah. big Thanksgiving Day game. It was like eight o'clock in the morning, and I'm out there with the funny hat and the chin strap that's you know up against my bottom lip, and I'm oh, banging yeah. a bass drum, pissed off like son of a bitch. What did I do wrong? <laughs> and then we had to march down you know North Avenue, which is the main street in New Rochelle. Again, like six in the morning, just playing a bass drum. So it was not cool. In New Orleans, it seems like it'd be Very a cool, cool thing. Yeah. It's the super hip thing. 
Yeah. In New York, not so cool. Like you yeah. can't grow up in the Bronx and go, "Hey, I'm gonna be a tuba player." I'm gonna be a tuba player. That might exactly. that might be a problem. Yeah. So, what's your favorite song to play? You guys have the same one, or I like doing it. You like it was the same. Yeah. I know. I'm, I know the answer to that yeah. one.
Let's get a little jam going. I'm on my way But I'm standing on the evil ground and Don't call Don't call with your friend now Cause she always gonna pick up that phone Boy, and she'll drag you down It's the sound that makes me sweat It's a love I can't forget Feeling in my stomach when I'm jumping at the bed. It's the days I'm never home. It's the nights I'm all alone. It's a little bit of everything. It's a feeling in my bones. And all I wanna do is dance. Say so I just wanna raise my Raise them up to the sky It's just you and I So all I want to do is dance So I just want to raise my hand Raise them up to the sky It's just you That was awesome. Thanks for letting me play. I got the knot. You can play now. No, it was great. That was good, man. That 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 that. We added a little something to it. Made you feel there. a little bit more yeah. at, right. It made me feel better about it too. Absolutely. Well, listen, yeah, I appreciate sure. you coming by my cubicle. I'm a huge fan of you guys. I want nothing but success. And hopefully next time we come back around New York, it'll be the Beacon, the Theater at the Garden, the Garden, Barclays, Boom. and whatever you guys want to do. But I think you're super talented, and I appreciate being here. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having us, That's man. it. Awesome. Appreciate it, man.